my baby found Prince Charming. It's been a long hunt. I don't think she really thought she was going to find this guy. And it was just by accident at a family wedding. Once this ketubah is signed by our witnesses, um, it becomes a legal document. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord make his kindness to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his kindness upon you and grant you peace. And let us all say, Amen. Amen. She's known him all her life because it's my cousin's nephew. So she really knew him, but not didn't know him well. And she came running up to me and said, Mom, who's that guy? He's really cute. And I said, Lauren, it's Linda's nephew. You've known him all your life, but she really didn't know him well. And I just said, wait a minute. And I ran and got his mom. By this ring, you are consecrated to me as my wife, in accordance with the laws of Moses and the people of Israel. I am my beloved, and my beloved is mine. She came dragging him back, and the first thing she introduced him to Jamie, Lauren's sister. And I said, no, 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 wait a minute. It was Lauren that asked about him. And she introduced him to Lauren, and they've been together ever since that minute for more than two years. I think that Lauren is a very caring, loving person. I always knew she would grow up to be a beautiful woman and she'll be a wonderful wife. Getting ready was just fun. We had like pajama party and I loved it, especially with Lola running around and getting in everybody's way. Lauren, today is the best day of my life. Not only do I get to marry my best friend, but I get to start an amazing life with the most beautiful woman in the world. I know it's weird to think that, but I just knew after our first date that lasted four hours, I knew we had something special and think you felt it as well. To be honest, I wasn't expecting a kiss on the first date, but was happy we did. From that day on, I always had a smile on my face from thinking of you, how amazing you are, and I never wanted to let go of that feeling. Brian's such a sweetheart. He just fits right in. I mean, he just fits right in. He's like another one of my kids from just going out to dinner with us and going down the shore with us. And my parents have timeshare in Aruba and he goes to Aruba with us. And he's just another one of my kids, flop down on the sofa kind of guy. Brian, my wonderful soon to be husband, you are the man that I chose to be my dashing prince. I believe I have chosen well. I love you today, tomorrow and always. I will always be here to pick you up when you're down and to be your sunshine when it rains. I can't wait to see what life brings from this day forward and to have so many more happy adventures together. <laughs> I was gonna say what you get her, but now I remember. <laughs> You know, it's my favorite. Oh. There's not going to be any anxiety. Do I trust Daddy to take it home? I don't know. Okay. She got me a neck. It looks like a necklace. Oh. Now it's a bracelet. Yeah. Lauren just got her dream job. She got laid off in September, and her sister bought her a lucky suit, and she went on three interviews, got three job offers. Out of the blue, she got the job of her dreams and Brian out of the blue got a job. So like all of a sudden things are happening for them. Who is it? Oh my God. It's corny. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. So do you have cancer? Brian, Lauren, I love both of you. Brian, so happy to have you as a son. Lauren, love you to pieces. You know I'm always there for you. Brian is a compassionate, patient guy, and they have fun together. They laugh at each other's jokes, which sometimes aren't even that funny, but to them that they are. And he just fits into the family. He's just like one of us.
I ask each couple uh, to give me a top 10 list of why they want to get married, why they love each other. So many of the things that you wrote that you love about the other one are the same things. And there are some things that are different and that's great because you'll challenge each other in certain ways and you'll complement each other in certain ways and that is what is truly beautiful about any relationship. One of the things that's very clear to me is that you enjoy each other's company and that you have the ability to make each other laugh in your own way. And that will serve you well, especially when challenges come as they do to every family, to every couple. We have challenges in our lives. You will support each other and laugh together. And in that way, I believe the two of you will be together for a long, long time, sharing life's joys, sharing life's sorrows, and being together for each other. It is truly an honor for me to be here, not just with the two of you, but with your families and with all the people here as you share this beautiful, beautiful day together. Brian, I knew you were the one for me the day I met you, and each day since has only made me more sure. Being with you, talking to you, and growing with you has made me to the person I am today. I am so grateful to have you in my life, by my side, as my partner in crime, and so proud today to take you as my husband. I vow to be your strongest supporter and your biggest fan. I vow to pick you up when life knocks you down and be by your side always. I promise to encourage you to pursue your dreams and reach your goals. I vow to comfort you, protect you, and encourage you and challenge you. I vow to be faithful to you, to be honest with you, and to be patient with you. I vow to learn from my mistakes and to grow from our struggles. I promise to always remember the little things like kissing you goodnight. And most of all, I vow to love you every day for the rest of my life and always. Lauren, when people ask how we met, I always say, do you have a few minutes? <laughs> As we met in a unique way and at a point that I was not looking to find someone special, but fell in love with a woman who, like me, was not looking for someone at a family wedding. When we went out on our first date to the Green Parrot, I wasn't sure what to expect, but very optimistic. Four hours later, we were making plans to go out again. You truly complete me and could not ask for a better woman and partner in life. I'm always thinking of you even when I'm not around you. I believe what we have is true love true happiness and cannot wait to call you my wife every day and Lola my dog baby. <laughs> this moment is the happiest moment of my life and cannot wait to see what the world has in store for us. The ceremony, it's just so sweet. It was just so emotional and it was just so traditional. And with them wrapped in the tallest, it was just so meaningful. Bless them, O Eternal One, that they may be a blessing to all they meet on life's way. It was hysterical when Brian went to break the cup and the cup flew across the room. Like, I've never seen that before, but only Brian would do that. God, this is a gorgeous place. You couldn't ask for a nicer place. It is so beautiful, and um, everyone seems to be having a great time. So, you know, from start to finish, it's just very, very lovely. We're very pleased to be here. How did Brian and Lauren meet? I know the exact date, event attended, and how they were introduced. It was that moment when mother knows best. Brian and Lauren attended a family wedding of Corey and Marilyn September 10th of 2016. It happens that Corey's dad, Mark Trotman, is our uncle, but also Lauren's second cousin. As Lauren had mentioned, uh, to put your mind to rest, Brian and Lauren are not related.
Brian had come dateless, but he wouldn't have thought he'd be leaving the wedding with Lauren's phone number. At this family wedding, Brian was sitting with my beautiful wife Amy and I while we're eating and drinking the many bottles of wine and food that we found. And Sherry, Lauren's mom, had approached our mom saying Lauren thought that Brian was cute. When Brian heard this girl thought he was cute, he approached her to introduce himself. As he walked to Lauren, both Sherry and Beth were watching, hoping that something good would happen. Within 10 minutes, both moms were convincing Brian and Lauren to dance during the slow song. They started to dance, and this would be the last moment that I would see Brian until I said goodbye. Uh, two years later, look, we're at Brian and Lauren's wedding. She's still my little girl. So uh, she's my little girl then, she's my little girl now. So uh, we're very close. Beth, we would like to thank you for sharing with us your amazing son, who fits so perfectly in our family. We love him and are happy to have him be a part of our family. Lauren and Brian, it's been a joy to watch your love blossom and to see my Cinderella find her Prince Charming. Dan and I wish the two of you a lifetime of happiness and health and we hope to watch the love continue to grow and that all of your dreams and wishes come true. I think that she saw that he was fun and uh, she says nice looking and um, just loves life. I think he sees in her uh, love of his life and someone he really wants to make a life with and um, have children with. I wishes to my son and now my new daughter-in-law. I wish much happiness. I'm thrilled. I'm so happy. I'm so thrilled that they've now joined as we call the Deets clan. Lauren and Brian met in an unusual way. We were at our cousin's wedding and they were sitting across from each other. Lauren took one look into Brian's glassy, drunk eyes and knew he was different. <laughs> I remember them dancing and laughing all night and eventually exchanging numbers. Lauren was worried that he had so much to drink that he wouldn't remember her the next day and that she wouldn't hear from him again. But don't worry folks, as you can see, he did in fact call her the next day. Childhood to now, Brian and I have enjoyed similar things. Sports, bowling, video games, staying out past dark during the week, figuring out what players we should start in fantasy football leagues. Brian and I have always found time to talk about life, fantasy football, and even bounce ideas off of each other. When we both needed someone to listen to our troubles, we were always there for each other. introduced us all to Brian, I was a little bit worried for him. Maybe we'd be too big of a family or we would scare him away. But he was brave and ended up fitting right in. Lauren and Brian, it was a long two years. I knew right from the beginning you were going to marry each other that anybody that saw the two of you together knew it was meant to be. And I know this past few weeks has just been crazy. The new job, Brian's job offer. Um, I know you're going to buy a new house soon. And I know this is just the beginning of a great life together. And don't take anything so seriously. Just have fun and enjoy each other. And that's what life is. Raise your glass.
glasses in honor of Lauren and Brian, and a lifetime of health and happiness, and may the only pain that touch your life be champagne. Cute. Lola, look right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, the gang's all here. <laughs> Alright, that's going to be an outtake. I have to pick Steve and the nuts. They're not going to be anything inside. Everybody's going to like it. There's our next outtake. <laughs> you called it. <laughs> Up in my grill because <laughs> <laughs> they certainly are. Well, I gotta do something funny for the bloopers. I should have worked it with my teeth or something. <laughs> oh no, I was kicking Steve in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I think we had his backwards. <laughs> this is gonna be the best outcakes oh, ever. <laughs> No, I want to get fed tonight. Well, you are, <laughs> What a nice smile. How are you doing, Logan? Look at that camera. Take pictures of you. There is a bridge for crossing. And mice who come in thrice, and if it's toes or blindness that keep you from the finest one you could be, then think in three. Cause when it's a tree, oh, you can't defeat them. Oh, that's great! Alright, I'm good if everybody else is good. Say good night. Rebecca. Good night, Rebecca. Good night, Rebecca. Good night, Rebecca. <laughs> good night. We hope everybody had a good time.